Hi, this is Chuck Harding with another Moment for America. It's September and we're in Saratoga, New York, where two very critical battles occurred. One September 19th, the other October 7th, where General John Burgoyne, a British general coming down from Canada, thinking that he was going to split the American forces into two and ensure British victory, believed he was going to join up with two other major British forces right here, but that didn't happen. And he's found himself surrounded by a major American force, much superior to his, 8,500 strong. Well, he lost the second battle and surrendered all the troops that he had. And very interesting, what this did was it ensured France's entry into the war to help us in this you might say, struggle for liberty. And what we have to understand today is this. Some people say, well, I don't want to be patriotic. Uh, I don't like patriotism. Hey, for people of faith, patriotism is our faith nationalized. Reagan said this, we're always one generation away from losing our liberty. We don't pass it on through our blood system. Today, we would say through our DNA, it must be protected preserved so it can be passed on. And every victory that we receive, that we achieve for liberty's sake, should be known, should be broadcast. Why? So that others will join us. When you look at the battlefield behind me and you understand the clash between these men, blood, sweat, and tears, loss of life, may we look to the people of yesteryear and realize the price that was paid for the liberty that we enjoy and Again, try to do something for it. Try to get read up on the Constitution. Try to make some phone calls. Try to make a difference in our nation so that the children coming behind us will be able to enjoy the same fruits of liberty. This is the land of the free because it's always been the home of the brave. Think about it, America.